So I've been feeling kind of down lately. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that my spiritual routine has been neglected for a bit of time. I've been really on and off with it. So it's something I've kind of mentioned in my videos where it's like sometimes I just don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like journaling. I don't feel like meditating. I don't feel like doing anything. But lately I have been coming back to my spirituality because it has been helping me during these dark times, I guess. I feel like I've been doing a lot of unintentional shadow work. Like there's intentional shadow work that we set out to do and then there's the shadow work that the universe throws our way it's like hey let's meet your shadow side let's throw some shit in the way to disturb your life to force you to deal with the darker parts of yourself so during these times i've created i guess a new simple nightly routine and i just want to share it with you guys in a very simple video we're not going to do crazy angles or nothing we're not going to do like the most with the editing we're just gonna chill it's you know it's nighttime and i'm ready to just sit down with you guys and just have you here with me as i do this routine all right the first thing that i do is i light a candle i just like to do that to set the vibe you know i like to have a cozy feel to my room and it's really lovely when you just have a candle especially when it's super dark it really sets the mood so you're not gonna really see it i'm sorry but just know that it's bringing the vibes then I like to cleanse my own energy and if you're sitting here with me and you want to do your routine feel free to do it I'm gonna try not to edit this video too much because I just kind of want to do it in slightly real time so yeah it's taking a minute to light sorry there we go it's catching a flame now I like to like light it on fire so that it kind of fully engulfs in the flame and then lasts a little bit longer. This Palo Santo is a little cheap though, I won't lie. I bought it and I didn't realize how shit it was. Okay, now here we go. All right, and then I just say some affirmations. I say I'm releasing all energy that is no longer serving me. So if you're doing this along with me, go ahead and release all the energy that is no longer serving us. You want some? I do like ASMR. I'm releasing all energy that is no longer serving me. And I just do counterclockwise circles to clear out the energy. Or I go like this and I kind of imagine that the negative or unwanted energy is like removing itself from me. And then I start to invite in more energy and I'll repeat a different affirmation. I'll usually say things like, I am inviting new and abundant energy and I start doing the motions towards me and then I go clockwise, you know what I mean? So, I'm inviting new and abundant energy into my life, harmonious relationships, abundance, positive energy, happiness. And I just do the same thing, but in reverse. I'm ready for new energy. I'm inviting new and abundant energy into my life. Sending you new and abundant energy as well. Then I take six deep breaths for four. So that would be one, two, three, four. Breathe in, breathe out, you know? So let's do it together, okay? Let's do it together. So you breathe in. Do you get what I mean? So both counts are for four. So let's do it together. And if you can, breathe out with your mouth.
You should start to feel relaxed by number four or five. One more. Okay. The next thing that I do is I meditate. So I typically lie down when I meditate. I put some AirPods in, I listen to my singing bowl and I put crystals on my body. So I really like this crystal. I forget the name. I'm gonna try and find the name. I put that on my forehead actually. I put um, aquamarine on my throat, rose quartz on my heart, carnelian on my sacral, and black tourmaline on my root chakra. And then I close my eyes and I do a meditation either to singing bowls or I do a guided one. That I am going to do off camera. So I say take a little breath, Pause this video, go meditate, and come back to me, okay? So I'm gonna go meditate, you do your thing as well. Now, I like to play my singing bowl after my meditation, so I guess I'll just play it for both of us. I'm gonna play until my arm hurts, okay? Take a big deep breath in. Exhale for four. And just continue that. thing that I do is I journal so I have this little journal here this is from the dollar store actually and my whole heart's in here you know it's one of those journals that just has some dark stuff and some happy stuff so yeah I'm just gonna journal feel free to join me um, I have a worksheet if anyone's interested if you don't know what to journal about i have a worksheet on my etsy and it is pretty much a guided journal prompt worksheet that has multiple different uh questions and prompts for different categories of your life so i'm gonna put like what it looks like here it's on my etsy if you're watching this video i mean thanks for supporting me i'll give you a coupon code if you want to um, use it only people that watch this video and made it this far get to use that coupon code whatever it is I'll put it on the screen. I haven't made it yet um, Feel free to purchase it. It's under I think it's like three dollars or something. It's pretty cheap. So if you want buy it if not um, Yeah, I'm just gonna journal what I'm feeling right now and I think you should do the same So I'm gonna sit back here so you can see me and I'm gonna journal in real time. So no rush I don't know how long I'm gonna take but you know, just fast forward or write some shit down with me. Okay. What's the date today? I like to date my journal entries. Um, oh yes, June, happy pride. Oh, happy pride. <laughs> okay, let's write.
so now that I have journaled, I like to grab my tarot cards. I'm gonna pull a card for you guys. I am not a tarot reader. Actually, Nia, if you're watching this, I know that you've asked about my tarot journey, and here's a little update. So as you guys might know, I um, have been learning tarot, but I'm learning really slowly. At first, I wanted to learn to incorporate tarot into my channel, and then I decided against that. So now I just do personal readings for myself when I'm like doing, oh wow, that's a jumper. <laughs> um, now I just do personal readings for myself when I want to like get some guidance and clarity on what's going on in my life. So I stopped learning and not learning, but I stopped trying to teach myself and now I just look up the meanings of every card as I pull them and try and interpret it in my own way using my own intuition. And yeah, so there are many cards that I, I know, like I just pulled two. Um, well, I pulled them in, in this way, actually. I do know the Ten of Cups. I'm very familiar with that. Queen of Swords, I am I pulled that today already. Well, I guess it's an urgent message. I'm, a, I'm quite familiar. It all depends on the cards. So that is where I'm at uh, with tarot. I would say I'm about 35% of the way to learning my way around the deck. Can I do multiple spreads and interpret it without looking it up? No. I'm probably 20%. Anyways, okay, so I just pulled two cards unintentionally. I'm going to pull a card for you guys, so just tune into my energy. Let me tune into your energy, actually, and let's see. Um, spirit guides, what do the viewers need to hear right now? Please send me a, a message that the viewers need to hear right now. One card, no clarification. Please send me a message that the viewers need right now. Anything that you deem worthy of. <laughs> at this time okay all right the eight of wands i don't know who this is for but listen the fuck up Oop. sorry maybe i shouldn't swear <laughs> okay eight of wands in reverse actually so somebody needs to hear this i don't know who but whoever this resonates with let me know in the comments the Eight of Wands reverse suggests that you are charging ahead with an idea or plan, but you need to slow down and consider your next steps before continuing. You may miss something in your haste and be prone to making mistakes or poor decisions. Or you may rush into things without a clear plan of where you are heading instead of investing time into trivial tasks. Be careful of the bright shiny object syndrome, where just as you get started on implementing one idea, another one comes to mind and you switch your focus. Ah, I think I had to hear this. The trouble is that with this approach, you never accomplish anything because you're jumping from one idea to the next and finishing none of them. The Eight of Wands reversed can warn that you are resisting change, trying to stop the flow of energy and movement. It will only make things harder, so let go and be in the flow. If you have been feeling stuck, do things differently. New routines, locations, activities, and get the energy moving once again. Shit. The reversed Eight of Wands can mark significant delays, particularly concerning travel or fast-moving plans. Despite having a lot of energy and enthusiasm to process things forward, you now face multiple obstacles in your course. This is incredibly frustrating, and you may be growing increasingly impatient by the day. Keep looking for alternative ways around the challenges presented so you can carry out your plans if it's Mercury retrograde. Last day of Mercury retrograde right now, actually. Expect your plans to be doubly delayed. Similarly, this card can be assigned to hold off your activities for a short amount of time until the situation becomes more stable and predictable. On the other hand, the reversed Eight of Wands may be a one dollar iced coffees. Sorry, <laughs> there's a McDonald's ad. I didn't know summer drink day started. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this all year. <clears throat> On the other hand, the reverse Eight of Wands may be a sign that you are aligning your resources so you can actively pursue your goal. You are getting your life in order, physical health, emotional well-being, energy levels, or spirituality, so that you are in an excellent position to move forward with your plans. I needed to hear that. Thank you, Spirit Guides. I appreciate you. So I pulled the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. I'm probably going to read those off camera because, uh, I mean, pretty long cards. Um, but overall these are the messages so if you feel like these might be for you sorry it's not, it's not focused if you feel like these might be for you i say look this up i usually read the biddy tarot description because these are the biddy tarot cards so feel free to look it up and see um in case that message is for you so yeah okay the last thing that i'm gonna do this is new to my routine actually so this is not i don't mean for this to be self promo but i'm working through my own workbook i had a rough few weeks i was crying i was feeling depressed and I felt like I just lost touch with myself. So I was like, you know what? Like, I printed this out so that I could take photos of it and promote it. And I was like, 
why don't I use my own workbook? And this shit is good. I was, <laughs> I was filling this out like, damn, I did that? Whoa, that's a good question. Ooh, I do that, huh? Like, I literally forgot that I made this, <laughs> which is what's so funny. So I have been, like, actually filling it out, like, writing it down. So I've incorporated this into my routine, filling out the self-love manifesto. So if you're interested in downloading it, it's, um, it's pretty much a guided workbook to help you get closer to yourself. I say it is a guided workbook to aid you on your journey of self-love. And it's really um, deep. It's really thought-provoking. There's journal prompts, there's exercises, there's quizzes, there's fill in the blanks, there's, you know, lots of journaling in here. It's a really good workbook. Um, so I have been filling this out because I feel like I'm kind of losing a sense of self lately and I've been feeling really sad and I don't know, like I cried today and I don't really know why. Um, so I am going to fill this out. I'm gonna, I answer a couple questions a night because, you know, I don't want to finish it all in one day. So today's question is, how does a lack of trust within yourself negatively impact your daily life? So if you want to answer that with me, um, how does a lack of trust within yourself negatively impact your daily life? I guess I'll tell you guys how before I write it down. I would say it stops me from doing the things that I know I need to do to, um, you know, align with my higher self. So for example, um, I don't trust myself in many ways. I tell myself, oh, I'm gonna wake up at 7 tomorrow and then I don't even bother setting an alarm because I'm like, I already know I'm not gonna wake up. It's like, I don't trust myself enough to even tell myself I'm gonna be doing the things that I should be doing. Um, I will not even plan to work out and I stop saying, oh, I'm gonna work out next week, I'm gonna work out next week because I don't even trust myself enough to say I'm gonna work out and actually think I'm gonna follow through. I'm like, mm, we'll see how I feel. So. I'm trying to get out of that. I'm trying to stop, stop setting expectations um, and get back to like understanding who I am, being more self-aware and what I can actually commit to and what I can't because I feel like it's been really like heavily affecting me. Eventually I wanna get back to a place in which I can make promises to myself because I know I can keep them. Right now I, I don't even bother making promises to myself because I won't keep them because I don't trust myself. So it's hard, it's really hard. So that is my answer. I am gonna write about it, um, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm pretty much gonna write in here. So I'm gonna get to that, and I'll probably cut to the next um, part of my routine because it's gonna take me a minute to write. And I know you guys might not have the workbook. If you are interested in getting it, it's on my Etsy. And actually, if you subscribe to my Patreon, the first tier is $5.99, which is about the same price of the workbook. But if you do subscribe, you actually get access to all my workbooks and worksheets. They all drop once a month. But so far, the manifesto and the other workbook is up. So if you are going to buy it, um, I'll be honest with you, it's actually cheaper to get it on Patreon because you get way more for a couple of dollars less, you know? So do what you want. <laughs> you don't have to buy if you don't want to. You really don't. I just, I wanted to share that with you guys because I made it with love. All right, the next thing I do is I get in that mirror and I say my affirmations. So, I mean, I have a mirror here, like in front of me, so I guess I can do that. So I guess repeat the affirmations with me. Okay, where are my affirmations? Where are my affirmations? Uh, I don't think my affirmations are in this journal. It's actually my other one. I am the woman of my dreams. You could say person. You could say human of my dreams. I am the woman of my dreams. I'm in alignment with my higher self. I love myself inside and out i am confident i am self-assured i am enough my effort is enough my love is enough i am a money magnet i am living in my purpose i am t i am in alignment with my higher self people love to pay me i am wired to win okay well this was really calm and chill and probably long so that is my cozy little low effort nighttime routine obviously there's more factors that could be implemented such as stretching you know yoga more shadow work um i don't know uh i don't know but this is enough for me right now this is what i'm able to do right now what my energy is allowing me to do right now so i hope you guys enjoyed this um thanks to my spirit guides who were here with me this is for you thanks for joining me guys i hope you followed along with me and feel free to come back to this video if you ever want to do the routine again and don't feel like being alone. I'm here for you. Let me know what's a part of your nightly routine. Leave a comment. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have some tea. 
and I guess end off my night. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. I never blow kisses. Goodbye.